Migraine Pathophysiology While the exact mechanism is not known, it is thought that migraine is caused by a genetic abnormality that makes the neurovascular system hyperexcitable. It may include cortical spreading depression, an electrical phenomenon that may start in the occipital lobe and move forward. Once antidromic activation occurs, the distal trigeminal nerve terminals initiate a cascade of events by releasing the neurotransmitter substance P, NKA, CGRP, and others, which bind to the receptors on intracranial blood vessels, causing vasodilation, plasma protein extravasation, and ultimately, sterile inflammation. This results in reactivation of the trigeminal nerve, this time in an orthodromic fashion. This signal is relayed to the trigeminal nucleus caudalis, a central structure in the brainstem that forwards pain impulses to the thalamus and ultimately to the sensory cortex. Once the first order trigeminal neurons become sensitized, normally innocuous intracranial stimuli such as a pulsating artery become painful, resulting in a throbbing pain made worse with activity. This type of pain is symptomatic of peripheral sensitization. If pain due to peripheral sensitization is unsuccessfully treated, second and third order neurons extending through the midbrain to the thalamus and cortex are continuously activated. This may lead to central sensitization, causing pain from cutaneous stimuli that are normally not painful. When central sensitization occurs, medications that act merely in the periphery often may not be effective. This has been a presentation of Valiant Pharmaceuticals North America.